And action. Hey everybody and welcome back to the garage. Today we're gonna to show you how to winterize a, winterize a bike. We're gonna show you how to winterize a motorbike. It's pretty uh, simple. Pretty straightforward, typical J. You wait a little too long, we've already got snow on the ground. The motor oil got a little bit frozen. We're able to kind of scoop out the sludge with a uh, spoon. And we're gonna do the rest of it now. Pretty straightforward, something we've been doing every year. Again, we've waited a little bit too long. First, we wanna take off your, vice, uh, your uh, grips, your handle grips. Um, how do you think, how does this go? There's no like a uh, throttle. Peter sells live mouse traps where you can catch and release. If you don't, typical uh, mice activity here, they kind of got into the foam and started eating away at it. So what I like to do is get a contractor bag, um, loosen the bolts, take your seat off, put it in a contractor bag. And if you put a little bit of peppermint oil in there, the mice won't get to it. Okay, you want to drain early and often. Um, drain everything, all the fluids. Do you want to drain the gas? So gas is a controlled substance, so you don't want to like put it down toilets or anything, but you can just put it in the on the snow and it'll kind of dissipate in the snow. So it sounds empty. Uh, if you're not sure, maybe light a match, put it inside the tank, and if there's a flame, then yeah, you, or you can take a metal right object out. and strike the bottom of the tank, <clears throat> and um, you can tell by the sound whether or not it has fluid in it. It should have a hollow ringing tone. All right. Um, it's a little more complex from here. Yeah. What we really gonna do? We're gonna get down in here, get in the engine, drain uh, the carburetor. We the uh, we should take the chain off too at some point. Take the chain off, maybe the wheels too, but yeah, I'm, I'm worried the rubber might get dry running. So ideally, we're gonna take the wheel tires off a little later, maybe after lunch. Um, but we can do that later so they don't get dry running. We'll take the chain off so it doesn't get rusty. And um, I'm a little hesitant. I don't want to break anything. You want to take it off? Take it off. So this is a carburetor. It's a normal, like, wood. And the carb should come right off. No, it's not. No. Yeah. So you got to tweak okay, it a little. Uh, it's caught on a gasket. So problem is the rubber has got a little bit cold. There we go. Twist it. Twist it. Yeah. There we go. So we'll take the carb off. Maybe take it inside. Drain the fluid and you could uh, spray some starter spray in there to kind of lube it up and then put a little bit of Vaseline on the spring so it's nice and uh, freed up when you put your bike back together. All right, um, it's drain, it's totally drained. Yeah, so put blue tape on your wires so you remember where to connect them um, in the spring after a long winter. And these um, cables you can just kind of put like a blanket or a cloth diaper over so they don't get tampered with by the mice. Okay, we got a completely winterized bike here. We took a little bit of petroleum jelly and a brush and got in between the um, the tire treads to get the petroleum jelly to protect the rubber over the winter. So this one's pretty much ready. Now you spend the first two months of summer rebuilding it and then you've got a good month of riding before you have to winterize it again. Yep. We, talk, we touched on mice before, but actually with these new tires and these little um, studs that stick up from the tires, the mice can actually climb up. That's the petroleum jelly keeps them from climbing up the it's tire. Too slick. They'll just keep dropping off. They'll just keep dropping off. Let's go ahead and take a shot of the bike here. Well, yeah. Hold that. on. Hold on. Okay. Got a little uh, chamois here, and then also a towel. So one thing you can do is cover your bike to kind of keep it warm. Because this metal, this metal will, will get, get very cold. cold. Yep. So put a put an old towel to make sure it's clean. You can use a milk crate, or you can also use a U.S. mail um, delivery off, crate. Because you're going to take the kickstand off because you have to winterize the kickstand as well. Yeah, because the kickstand has oil on it. So you want to get that indoors. And then put a couple bungees to keep it from tipping over. So that's how you completely winterize a bike. 